Hello everybody, we are going to be doing, um, this is, I guess this is your how-to video for our Unit 6 Summative Assessment. So after you open up in Schoology, send it to Notability, um, and you can use some of my notes or just things just to help you today. But I'm just going to be reading each of the questions for you, um, just to help. Number one, Mrs. Garcia puts 57 cans on a shelf. She puts an equal number of cans in each of nine rows and puts three cans in the last row. How many cans does she put in each of the nine equal rows? Okay, choose the equation that can be used to solve the problem. Um, I recommend actually doing the second part first. I think you should solve the problem first. So basically try to think, okay, what two, what's my first step? What two numbers should I be using first? Should I use the 57 and the 9 first? Should I use the 57 and 3 first? Or 9 and 3 first? Solve it first down here, answer it. Then you're going to circle the an equation you could use to help you solve it. That will help you a lot. Solve it down here. Do kind of the two steps. And then um, then choose your equation there. Number two. Candace picks 120 apples. She picks 50 red apples and the rest are green. She sells 25 green apples. How many green apples does she have now? So this is a little bit of a typo here you're going to see. It says 2A equals 2, through, or 2, 2A through 2E. It's only through 2C. So it's, it's really just three problems. Choose yes or no to tell whether the equation can be used to find the number of green apples Candace has now. So you're going to need to go back, just reread it, and then find out, does 2A work? 120 plus 50 plus 25 equals G? Yes or no? B, 2B, 120 plus 50 minus 25 equals G? Yes or no? And 2C, 120 equals 50 plus 25 plus G? Yes or no? Okay. Number three, Jenny makes 12 birdhouses this month. She makes six fewer birdhouses than Steve. How many birdhouses does Steve make? So this is where you draw do do a comparison bar to help solve the problem. Just gonna give you a little bit of a hint here when you're trying to like when you're trying to do it. Um, so Jenny makes twelve birdhouses this month. She makes six fewer than Steve. Okay, so you know we don't know how many Steve makes. And then Jenny makes twelve. I'm just gonna leave that there. But just remember, you're gonna be—you need to make a comparison bar to represent the problem. To represent the problem, then solve it. That's just a just a little bit of a clue just to help. Number four, Max records the weather for 120 days. He records 60 sunny days. How many days were not sunny? Write an equation with a variable to represent the problem. Then draw a math mountain. So remember, you're gonna to need to use the numbers 120, 60, and some kind of a variable. Maybe you want to use m. Then you're going to do a math mountain. So just remember just the parts of a math mountain. And then you also have to solve it by telling how many days right there. Number five. On Monday, Amber plants 20 flowers and four bushes. Of the 20 flowers, six are daisies and the rest are marigolds. On Tuesday, she plants some more marigolds. And if you don't know what a marigold is, a marigold is a flower and so is a daisy. Daisy is a flower also. She now has 17 marigolds. How many marigolds did she plant on Tuesday? So here, write the information in the correct box. So there's needed information, extra information, basically information you don't need. So you're going to write down, where does the 20 flowers go? Should the 20 flowers go here, 20 flowers? Or should I put that over here in the extra information? So you're going to do that for all four of those. Then solve the problem. What strategy did you use, and how did it help? Did you use math mountains? Did you use comparison bars? Did you write just an equation? What are, what, make sure you write what you do. So you're going to solve it, and then what did you use? So you can just start with, I used equations, or whatever you want to write down, because, so whatever you want to write down for that one, Number six, Juan downloads 46 new pictures to his computer. Then he removes four pictures. He puts the rest in six folders on his computer with an equal number in each folder. How many pictures are in each folder? So that's when you're going to write that first step question and answer. So uh, my recommendation for this one, for the first step question, you'd probably want to start with how many and use that to help and then make sure to solve it. Number seven, it takes Susan eight minutes to read 40 pages in her book. She spends the same amount of time reading each page. How many minutes does it take Susan to read each page? 
Okay. For exercises 8a through 8d, select true or false to show if the equation can be used to solve the problem. Can you use 8a? 8 times 40 equals m, true or false? 8b? 8 times m equals 40, true or false? 8c? 40 divided by 8 equals m, true or false? And 8d? m divided by 8 equals 40, true or false? Number 8. Justin buys a DVD that costs $24. He also buys a game that costs $12 more than the DVD. How much money does Justin spend on the DVD and game together? Choose the number that completes the sentence. So then just, just then you have to Justin spends and then circle the correct answer there. If you think it's 60, you do 60, or if you think it's 72 or 36, whatever, just circle the correct answer. Number nine, Edda spends 36 minutes working on nine math problems. She spends the same amount of time on each problem. How many minutes does Etta spend on each problem? Use the numbers and symbols to create a situation equation and a solution equation. Well, your situation equation, just a hint, you're going to start with 36. Your solution equation, you're going to start with 9. For this over here, you're going to use the variable p two times in your equations. Number 9, two times. Number 36, two times. And then the equal sign, two times. But the division sign and the time sign just once. And then solve, then raise right down there. How many minutes does she spend on each problem? 10. A total of 2,780 people are working in a building with three floors. There are 909 people working on the first floor and 1,329 people working on the second floor. How many people are working on the third floor? Write an equation and solve the problem. You can either do like one big long equation or you can write two separate equations. Just make sure to solve the problem as well. 11. Kevin has 368 marbles in his collection. His mom gives him 42 more marbles. He then gives some marbles to his friend. Kevin now has 352 marbles. How many marbles does he give to his friend? Answer, 58 marbles. Is the answer reasonable? Tell why or why not, then write an equation and solve the problem. So for this one, you are going to need to be doing rounding, um, for rounding and the real answer. So I'm just going to help get started for you. So 368 is rounded to what in the, for the nearest tens? 42 is rounded to what for the nearest tens? And 352 is rounded to what for the nearest tens? So you're going to need to round, and then you need to solve the problem with your rounded answers. Then you do the real problem. Like, you know, then you actually need to like do the problem for real with real, with real numbers. So it's going to basically be going to be two parts. You're going to have a rounded answer. Then you have a real answer as well. And then you have to tell, is it reasonable? Why or why not? So you could say yes, because why? And for most of you, it's because you, you did a lot of rounding. 12. Rena plays three rounds of a trivia game. She answers some questions that are worth one point each, and other questions are worth three points each. Use information in the table to write equations to find the unknown numbers, then complete the table. So there's round one, round two, round three. So a number of one point questions. So round one, each of these are worth just one point, so it's like five times one equals five. But these ones are worth three, so it's really six times three equals 18. So then you have to take, well, so she had five one point, so that's five. She had six three points, so that's 18. What's the total amount of points? Then up top, you would write the equation for this. Well, you'd do five times one plus your six times three equals what? And just remember that five times one is five and six times three is 18. So you just have to put them together to get your real answer there. And you're gonna do that for all of these other ones. But for like this one, there's 19 total points. Well, I know that number of three point questions, well, there's four, but it's really gonna be four times three equals something. And you're going to use those two numbers to figure out what your one point question is. Then for the last one, there's 27 total points. She got three one point questions, so that really equals three. But you're going to use those two bottom numbers to help you figure out how many three point questions there are. Number 13, Brian is going camping in two weeks and two days. Which equation can be used to find the number of days until Brian goes camping? So just choose the equation there. So there's only one right answer. It's either A, B, C, or D. And number 14, 
Brad scores four goals this season, and Chris scores nine. How many more goals does Chris score than Brad? Making comparison drawing to represent the problem. So if you remember this one, just help you get set up. There's Brad, and there's Chris. Brad has four. Chris has nine. Finish that picture. So then if you do this, Chris has nine. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My picture's not done, and you need an answer. Finish the picture and get the answer. But you can use those notes to help you. Ask questions if you need anything, and have fun.